How to get actionable insights from dashboards in CRM analytics? Greetings, folks! My name is Vanya. I'm a Salesforce developer at Enway. We help businesses sell faster using Salesforce CRM. In this video, we will figure out together how dashboards in CRM analytics can help you make business intelligence easy. Let's get started! Salesforce CRM Analytics is a powerful business intelligence tool. With Salesforce CRM Analytics, you can track customer interactions, sales trends, and performance metrics in real time. One of the best features of CRM Analytics is dashboards. They are interactive collections of widgets, charts, and tables that visualize data query results. Discover more about dashboard capabilities in the previous video. What is really great about dashboards in CRM Analytics is that they are not some static piece of information. You can click and explore all around. There are some dynamic elements, such as 1. Selection-based filters. You can narrow down data using filters like date, range and lists. Drill deeper by linking filters, such as by product, region and account. Two. Key Performance Indicators, or KPIs. It's single numbers that measure key metrics. You can click chart elements to update KPIs based on specific data. 3. Charts. It is clickable parts that show data from different angles. Clicking a bar filters the charts query, updating values in the chart, other charts, and number displays. 4. Tables. They provide detailed records. You can sort tables to show top or bottom records and create calculated columns for more insights. Now we will create the basic dynamic dashboard itself. Follow me. In Analytics Studio, we click Create and choose Dashboard. Then we click Plank Dashboard. Here is our dashboard editor. Now we can start building. We pick the chart widget and place it in the work area. Let's make it a little bit larger. Now we click chart and choose our existing dataset. Let's group the data by opportunity stages and also by the lead source. Watch our previous video to learn how to manage datasets in CRM Analytics. Now let's use a stacked bar chart. So here we have stages and the count of rows. I change it to the sum of the opportunity amount. Well done! Here is our ready chart widget. On the left, there is a widget panel where we can choose other elements, such as text, numbers, links, and so on. Let's add additional filters. We place the filter element in the area, then we select the dataset and choose a stage field. Now we add the second filter. And here we pick the lead source field. To apply filters, I use the preview button. Let's choose the closed one stage. Here is our result. Now let's add the additional stage. We get the result according to specified criteria. Additionally, we can apply the lead source filter and the chart has changed dynamically. To reset filters, I click the return button. Let's save our dashboard. 
Now we can share the dashboard with colleagues and stakeholders. Our first option is to post it to the feed. We can choose a user or a group. Our second option is to export the dashboard to Quip. Also, we can share a direct link to the dashboard. Keep in mind that users must have relevant permissions to view the dashboard. Our final option is to download the dashboard as an image. Additionally, in the Analytics Studio, you can use the subscription tab to subscribe to daily email updates about new dashboards or widgets. Also, you can put the most important dashboards in the watch list tab. Moreover, you can create collections of dashboards. And the notification tab will allow you to get updates to a specific dashboard. That's it! Now you have an understanding of the dynamic dashboard in CRM Analytics and how to create it. Click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Need help with building advanced dashboards using CRM Analytics? and way is here for you. Click the link below to contact us. Thanks for watching. Bye.